Hey guys, Finley here. Welcome back to a... Okay. Hey guys, Finley here. Welcome back to another video where today we are, as you can see, inside of another Doors build. So this is actually the courtyard. You've probably seen by the title and the thumbnail. So I'm, I'm sure you're not that surprised. But yeah, so in today's video, we are building the courtyard. Um, it's not too much. I mean, I'm not going to say it's not a big build because it's really, really big. But it's not a hard build. It's basically just um, the exact same thing on both sides. We've just this side has a statue and this side does not. So, um, as you can see, this is what it looks like. You've got the two sides so you got this side then you also got all the way down here which is the other end which has 074 on there as well so as you can see this isn't too hard to do i do want to before we begin give a big shout out to amazing ben 07 also known as ben and jack's let's play for helping me build this i definitely wouldn't have been motivated to do it if he didn't help me so yeah, also I think, I believe he was the one that made this really beautiful looking statue. So credit to him as well. He should have a video coming up on his channel of some sort of time lapse. So yeah, a uh, big shout out to him. So without further ado, let's actually get on to this tutorial. So if I just quickly go and TP to them, then we can get started. Oh, enjoying a nice bath or a hot tub. I know how to make it even hotter. There you go. So, what we're going to do is... Okay, so the first block we're going to need is uh, spruce planks, spruce stairs, spruce slab. Or the, well, yeah, the three spruces. We need red terracotta packed mud, which is from 1.19. So, you need to use 1.19. Torch... Um, a dark oak door and acacia door, which we can just chuck in our inventory for now. And then an azalea and a flower pot. And there's also a little Easter egg behind here. And please do that. Don't twerk on my side. Uh, yeah, so please do that. Hold up, wait. Hold up. Parky Plazy. Okay, so let's actually uh, get on with this build. So, now that we have all of our materials, we're going to begin. Right, so the first thing you want to do is come two blocks up off of the ground. Well, actually, it depends where you want to build this. So, this grass is... This grass on the ground is going to be the floor, the outside bit of your courtyard. And then it will go up a little bit like this. So this would be the level of... Um... Hold on, I should... Let me, let me check. So basically, that floor... Oh wait, never mind, I'm stupid. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so... Your floor, if you want it to be, will be on top of this first layer of grass, I believe. Yeah. Okay, and then it will your floor will go up one like that into some sort of balcony. So this is where you'll be starting with your first layer if you're doing it this way. Right there with spruce planks. So that is, I believe, two blocks off of the ground. Okay. Now, what you want to do is, with your blocks, you want to place... Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, you want to do one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and both all of those are three blocks wide. Um, and then with your packed mud, you want to kind of wrap around the build like this. So on the ends, but coming out from the walls basically. So it should look something like this. And then you want to do two layers of red and uh see so yeah, I can do two layers of red like this going around the doorway. Uh, there we go, I'll just leave it there for now. And then I believe there is some sort of pattern. So here, well, you can kind of choose which one you want your door to be. So I'm just going to choose uh, this as my door. So you want to place... Wait, what? Does it? Wait, what? Have I been an idiot and counted it wrong? Hold up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, I see. Now I see what you mean, Ben. Yeah. Hold up. Oh, I can't get in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, no, it should be eleven. It should be one out this way, I believe. Oh, uh, there you go. It should be like this. There will be an extra layer of brick, it's just this is the length of the hallway at the moment. Okay, so once you've got your walls and doorway like this, find one that you want to be your um, exit out of, basically, which one you want to have your courtyard facing, and just surround it with bricks like this. And then, yes, like Ben's doing, put an extra layer of mud surrounding the top. And then, what you want to do is, once you've done your mud... Once you've done your mud, you want to diagonally place your roof of spruce planks just like this. There you go. Oh dear. Right. Now what we're going to do is come inside and we need to work on some of the decorations. So come to the, uh, the side where you have your bricks around your doorway. And you want to place two flower pots like that with azaleas in them. Which should symbolise the sort of bushes. Actually, never mind, I'm stupid, just do those on both sides. There you go, perfect, thank you, Ben. Right, and then also come to the side that doesn't have your uh, doorway, and you can place, uh, your brick, sorry, and you can place your door like that, other side. Face it, try and face it this way. Let's do it like that. No, like, no, no. There you go. See, so yeah, like that, and it should be open, so it should look something like this as you can see perfect now what we want to do is once you have gotten your door like this because like this will be connecting to a bunch of other rooms so if you are wanting to build a whole door map and door a whole doors map you can follow along with this tutorial and hopefully all the rooms should connect if you use a door pattern like that and then like for example on the other side can be uh, let's say you have a a green room before this one your door room can look something like that anyway let's actually carry on with the build so as you can see like ben has done if you come from the wall with the actually yeah it's probably easier so do your spruce um like pillars it's kind of like support beams so the first one if you come to the brick you want to come in line with this flower pot, look up, go one, yeah, literally just follow the diamonds. Just go one to the, um, to the right, and then you want to leave a gap of two, another gap of two, and then the gap of one, like that. And then in line with this middle one, you want your torches there and there. 
and I believe that is actually this room completed. So now we can move on to this main little section. Oh yes, uh, yeah of course I'm stupid. So you also actually want an acacia door, something like that. So basically it should look like, you know, yeah it, it should look like this. It should be open and it should have like the bars in it which should symbolize the one indoors obviously there's no door that's actually gray but because this one had the different like bars we've just decided to go with this one but feel feel free to change it to whatever you like right the next thing that we are going to do is actually let's just do that the next thing we're going to do is just clear our inventory and we want to grab out a bunch of bricks because we're going Ooh, okay prepare to count um from this door we're going not including the one underneath we are going oh, oh there you go. uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So, 52 blocks that way. I've probably counted that wrong somewhere. So, yeah, just do 51 layers. Literally just bring this out like that. But then you also want to, I believe an extra two blocks out on either side like that and then like ben's doing here you can actually fill in these walls like that so pause the video do that and while ben does that i'll actually start working on this wall uh hold up uh yeah so in total it should look something like this should be three blocks either side of the door in the middle what you want to do is grab out your azalea and your flower pots again i believe and place them uh right there i believe so it should look something like that and then just bring your uh bring your brick up one two three more blocks from the middle of the doorway so one two three like that and then this will go higher eventually and extend out both ways but because we're just doing this passage we are going to keep it as that okay so what we're going to do next is once ben has finished which is already really close to doing i can't believe how quick he is at placing blocks um what we're going to do is place down so basically once you've finished your brick pathway we need to place down some polish, no, not polished, regu- Wait, what? Oh wait, I've, never mind, I'm being stupid. Yeah, Ben's already done that. Hold up, no. What am I doing? Yeah, I thought that looks a bit weird. There you go, perfect. So, you want to place rows of granite either side, just like this complete rows just going all the way down singular single block as well and then if you want you can actually no leave this side for now we'll come back to it right so as you can see ben has left these weird gaps you'll see why in a moment um because we are actually going to be doing the walls well i say walls it's yeah so we're going to be doing these now all we need to do is literally grab out granite walls so i believe they go one block so you start off by doing one block either side and then a row of three like that like three as in pillars and then it's just a pattern going all the way down so oh thank you ben so then literally yeah just copy the exact same on the other side so it's just three like that and then another row of three three another row of three so it's literally just this pattern. It's three walls, well, apart from the starting block. It's, yeah, it's like this look. Wait, what, it's four? Oh, no, yeah. 
Yeah, it's literally just um. Yeah, it's literally one block, a pillar of three, three blocks, a pillar of three, three blocks, a pillar of three, and that just goes on until you reach this little bit here, which I will show you what happens here. So it should, I believe, be two. Yep. And then you can literally just copy the exact same on the other side, just starting with your two uh, walls. I just need to make sure I don't make a mistake. And yep, that is correct. So it should be nice and even, um, as you can see. And then all you want to do in these holes is place down bricks like this. So if you want to know where the holes are, and just double check, they are, let's see. So if you count the pillars, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six pillars in like this. So, as you can see, that is what it should look like. Quickly pause and copy that down if you haven't already got it. Right, now we are going to, um, let's see, should we, f yeah, let's finish off the entire part of this first. So, what we're going to do is grab out your brick and do a whole row of brick along the top of these uh, pillars now and this wall just do a complete row going either side all the way down like this and once it reaches the end just stop here I'll fill in this wall it's literally just the exact same as the other side so you can copy it basically one to one um, or I believe it's one block higher And then let's grab out a door, Kasha door, and fix that. If I can even get in, why can't I? There you go. Okay. And uh, let's also do our flower pots and azalea. Oh dear. Just like that. There we go. Right, so once you've done your two rows of brick either side and your two doorways like that, so it should look something like this, ignore that bit down there, what we are going to do is we are going to start doing the roof. It's quite nice and simple. Um, it's literally just brick, so you don't need to, well, at the moment it's just brick, so you don't need to worry about any of the block. So as you can see, you've got your two different sides of one, then you want to come inwards either side by two and go in diagonal like that and then that should leave you a three so just go diagonal up again and that is your roof right what is this yes literally both sides of the corridor we'll literally do yeah we'll do that in a bit um both sides are going to be copied but from that side has an extra sign that's literally the only difference okay so as you can see, now that we have done the lung corridor, it looks kind of a mess of colour at the moment. It's literally just that whole salmon-y red and pink. So, what we're going to do is start fixing it up. Uh, actually, well, what we can firstly do is uh, fix up these walls. So, literally just on the outside, just come up to there. Just make it look a bit nicer. So it all evenly connects, perfect, so, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, come to the opposite side and we'll quickly finish off this room. So just grab out all your stuff that you need and literally just copy this room exactly. So just copy all of this. Uh, let's quickly place that back in there. Grab torch, the different blocks, and you. Okay, and the door. So yeah, literally just copy it one to one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like that. Do your packed mud surrounding the walls. Like this. You can also put um like we did here, you can also put some weird black block at behind the door 
because if you're not making this into a full doors map you're not really supposed to be behind this door because this will be the next part of the room so this would be another room this would be the next one but you can either have it open or you can have it closed in like that however uh hold up let's quickly finish off this room but once you have done this room all we need to do is add a sign and that's the only different feature so yeah, if you don't know how to do this room and you find this type of the this type of speed build too hard to follow go back a little bit and you should be able to find the uh yeah, yeah. Uh, you should be able to find the slower version where we did it over there so the sign um it's just oak and it's zero zero seven four this is the sign you can literally just copy it right now it's nice and simple it's like the one we did all the way i don't know what i'm pointing over there it's not even in this world but um it's like the one we did back there in the reception in the last tutorial but obviously that one was number one it was room one where this is 74. also um a quick disclaimer as well this corridor along with the seek chase which i will be doing at some point these this number is completely random you can change it um to anything you like so you can change this number because the courtyard randomly occurs around door 70 and i believe the seek chase which we'll do at some point occurs around 30 to 40. so this is just the random number i chose 74 yeah well no i wouldn't do 11 but you can do anywhere between four uh, 70 i think anywhere in the 70s would be a good substitute for yeah whatever you want basically so if you're doing a full doors map you can literally count the doors all the way up it's fine it's fine then it's okay right now we can quickly finish off this main corridor and we can move on to the actual garden type thingy so let's copy this so as you can see we need spruce stairs and spruce slabs and we're gonna make similar to what we did in here but a bit more curvy basically so this is what we're going to do so it's literally in line with all of these pillars as you can see um, when you get up to here, I believe it should just be right there. Because that is what it should look like. Yep, there you go. That is what it should look like if it was completed. And the pillars, I believe, look something like this. So, nice and simple. Uh, wait, whoops. Should look something a bit like that. As you can see, nice and easy kind of like um, a weird curve so if ben completes that all the way over there quite nice and simple i'll show you the last little bit that we need which is the chains and the lanterns oh, also uh just saying yeah there is i've only just noticed that there is a long strip of spruce going straight down the middle as well so fill that in as well for your spruce slab strip it's a tongue twister right so on every single one of these uh, stair blocks, what you want to do is just place your chain, like, uh, well, these ones don't exist yet, but once you've done your uh, column thingies, on every single one of these stair blocks that will be here, you want to place a chain and a lantern on that chain. This is not exactly how it looks in game. I can't remember how it looks in game. I think there's like... Um, wall lanterns on these pillars but obviously the pillars don't you can't have torches on walls so this is the next best thing and i think it doesn't look too bad it shows the point what you need to do also ben it i think you have the schematic can you quickly check is there a i don't think there is but is there a lantern in the staircase basically so right here i don't think there is but yeah okay i thought so because that would kind of be blocking the stairs but just double check so there you go 
And that is literally... Oh, wait. Hold on. I've not finished this yet. I need to finish this side. But once you finish this side with all your slabs, that is your hallway completed. So, as you can see, this is basically the main, in quotation marks, main part of the build. Now we have to do the outside. Because, let's, let's be real. I mean, who actually, whenever you're playing builds, who explores the graveyard, who... Like, who does that? Or the courtyard, sorry. You literally just walk from this door to that door. Like, let's be real. But, yeah, but... I guess if you, I guess if it's um, your first time playing, you would. But other than that, I, I've, I don't either. Like, I just walk on. I want to get to the end. Right. Let's start off by... Uh, Ben, which side is the one with the without the statue? Which side is so this one's not okay? Good, this side hasn't got a statue. Uh oh. Okay, here let me check. Over here's the door. No, it's the other side. Okay, so if the so it's this side. So if you're looking at the door all the way down there, that's the end door, the one with the sign on. It is to the left of that, so it's this side that we're going to do first, the one without a statue. Now, what you want to do is grab out your grass. You want to grab out your uh, stripped... What is that? Stripped spruce. Uh, stripped... Stripped spruce log. You want to grab out your tough bricks. Oh, sorry, not tough. You want to grab out mud. Uh, another 1.19 block. You want to grab out bricks, a uh, jungle trap door, brick stairs. You want to also grab out, let me see, oak leaves. And then also grab out, so now you can also grab out dark oak fences and lanterns. So grab this as your inventory. And we can get started. So you want to come to this main little brick section. Where it comes out. And let's see. You want to place another row of bricks. And then brick stairs like that. With jungle trap doors on the side of them. Facing down I believe. Yep. Facing downwards. And then you want to make a path of mud. Like that. Don't ask why. But yeah. A path of mud and that goes on for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two blocks so out to here i believe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two perfect so yeah, 22 blocks going all the way down here. Just fill that in with mud. And let's see. Right. So what we're going to do is build a tree. Now, I'm only going to build this tree once. And then I'm just going to speed build it. So credit to Ben again down there for this tree. He was a real help with this build. And this tree looks really good for this build. So I'm going to show you how to build it. You want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven logs facing upwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. As you can see, stripped dark, uh, stripped spruce, by the way. And then what you want to do? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So wait. One. Oh, oh dear. All right, hold on, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, two blocks gap from the bottom, you want to place six leaves going up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. You want to do the same on all four sides. Capping it off at the top as well. Like that. Then you want to do one, two, three, four. Leaving the two ends like that on all four sides. So it should look something like that. 
and then you just want to do two extra leaves on top like that so as you can see it's a really simple tree design but it works really well for this build so yeah credit to ben for doing that and that is literally your tree so rewind the tutorial if you're stuck on how to do that nice and simple but that is the only tree we'll be using in this build so you kind of got to know it right so with your grass blocks you want to actually that's a good idea yeah let's leave the trees until last so mark down the trees with diamond ben right so you want to do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 blocks with grass like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is then you want to, can you, wherever you see these diamonds, you can build your tree. So the stump, so let me show you. Here, I'll build, instead of putting diamonds, I'll build some stumps. All of these diamond blocks are going to be trees. So here, you're going to build two logs like that and then build your tree so that's uh right next to this trapdoor as you can see same again on the other side it's literally like a really symmetrical build and then you want to do one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten blocks away like that and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven blocks away like that so this one should be in line with this post this one should be in line with Ne well next to this post and this one should be right there with your mo oh wait hold up ben uh let's work on this side first i think this will be a lot easier to do one side and then work on that side so what you're going to do is with your mud you want to come down uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks. So come down 13 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then right here for these two is going to be a path. Ben, am I correct? Yep, it looks like it. Nice. So then these are going to be your... Um, Oh, well, that's the not the one I'm using. I'm just gonna use this one. So that is so then like right here, as you can see, four blocks away from this side, two blocks away from this side, is another tree, and then one, two, three, four, five blocks away from this side, one, two, three, four blocks away from this side, is another tree like that, and then you can fill in. Um, yeah, like literally, like Ben's doing here, you can wrap around your, like, wrap around this area of grass, I believe. So, we can place our bushes on here. And the bushes, uh, let's see, to, they start, so the bushes start on this block in line with the trees, two blocks away from this one. So, one, two, let's start here, going all the way down to there so that is your bush and then you can also do the exact same on the other side but we'll do that in a bit so then we are going to do some sort of roundabout type thing it's hard to explain uh, but first we can make a little land so from this tree it comes up two more and out one so two and out one and just basically outline this entire area with grass as well so it should look something like this as you can see let's just fly up here so it should look something like that and then basically what's going to go here is your building then on the opposite side because it's basically the same this path will go and it will be a statue here Right, I believe then you can just bring your bushes down like that. But let me check. Yep. So you can just bring your bushes down like that, as you can see. And let's finish up this side. So, 
Now we're going to make a roundabout. So I believe it's two blocks. Actually, Ben, can you just like mark the length with diamond, please? So as you can see, so the uh, if you come diagonal to the gra to this grass, um, couldn't speak there. So if you come diagonal to this grass right here, it should be four blocks like that. Um, and that is all made up of mud, as you can see. And this is all two blocks going all the way down back into here. So it should look something like that. And then also do the same on the opposite side, where it's in line with this block right um, before the bush starts. So it should look something like this. And then what we're going to do is do, oh, we're going to do a whole roundabout basically. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come up to this side and you can come up eleven more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then basically, as you can see, do the exact same on the other side. And you can just meet them together like this. And then you should notice that you're left with this little square. Which you can fill in completely with your grass. I'll show you where the trees are. So if you come to... It, let's say, let's go to this tree right here. You, if you uh, come one block next to it, or two blocks next to it. And then it comes forward one. Oh, actually. Uh, hold on, let's see. So, uh, let's just mark it down. So, two blocks next to this tree. And then come forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the eighth block is your tree. Uh, like that. And then it's one, two, three, four, five blocks next to it. Uh, five blocks gap between the next one. And then there's one, two, three, four, five blocks gap between the next one. So those are your trees. And you can just fill in the rest of the land with your grass like this. And then there also will be some bushes. But they are really simple. They literally just go around the outside like this. Leaving one block gap between everything basically so i'll show you it should look something like this leaving a gap like a one block gap between the path and once you've done that there you go that is what your trees should look like now we are going to uh, let's finish off this side then we'll do the lampposts i think so let's see does it uh I think you come right next to the building no yeah basically the same but we'll show you that in a minute then what you want to do uh let's see come over come over here to where this uh grass finishes and you can just bring one layer out like that to the end and do a corner like that so that's what it should look like and then back here let's see um should be one, two, three, four, five blocks, I believe, after the path. So one, two, three, four, five. And that should hopefully just all link up with that side like this. Okay, so now we're going to do the diamonds. So as you can see, they are all marked. They are all marked out for you already, but I'm still going to show you where they are just in case. So for this corner one, it's in line with this pillar here with a one block gap between the granite. So it should look something like that. And then you want to leave one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What can't I count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven block gap. There's another tree. Uh, let's just delete that so you break that so you don't get confused. 
Then there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight block gap between the next one. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's the next one. Then over here, it's literally in line with this one. And there is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine block gap with your thingy there. And it should be in line like that. Okay. So that is basically that side completed. Um, now we just need to add in some of the decorations, like the lamp posts, and then I oh yeah, yeah I'm stupid. We need we do need to fill in a bush, so it's two blocks from this side, one block away from the road or path or whatever, and it goes all the way down two blocks from there. Should be three blocks away from the wall, and there we go. Now, uh, I'm just going to quickly cut, oh dear, um, I'm going to quickly cut to when all these trees are built, and yeah, then we can hopefully just uh, build the lampposts. Okay, so, just to quickly go over how you build these trees once more, oh, and I've, why do I keep throwing my items? To go over these trees, uh, how you build them once more, it's literally just seven logs up. Then you can do three leaves on top of that. For the bottom set of leaves, you can just bring them all out by one. Then you want to do a square around it for about four blocks. So one, two, two, three, four. Like that. And then, again, as like we did to the top, just do four blocks around it like that. And that is how you do the trees nice and simple so now that we've done the trees as you well close to doing the trees almost finished what we're going to do is move on to the fence posts so the fence the fence posts are nice and easy they are simple ones they're just like something like i don't know four blocks high or three blocks high and somewhere like that i think it's literally that so if you come direct so if you come to this starting point here uh, let's just fill this in up a little bit just so i've got room to walk right thanks um what we're going to do is come to this tree and diagonal from one oh, diagonal from one diagonal one we're going to count down let's see one two three four five yes i just counted that my memory is terrible so right here we're well, no, here is the lampposts the fifth one is underneath the fence and what you want to do is come up four blocks like that out by one with a with a lantern like that then you can literally do the exact same on the uh, yeah you can literally do the exact same on the other side like that and then i believe there are some down here so they are if you come to this corner i believe they are three up like this and they are right uh, there. So I want to be four. I'm going to just place the fence there. There you go. So they should look like that. Then the next ones are. Let's, well, we're doing over here. So the next ones are on the bushes. So they're in line with that tree and that tree. Oh, okay. Nice and easy. They're in line with the two end trees, basically. So right here. One, two, three, four. So the two end trees, and then also right here. They're just like that. And then the exact same on the opposite sides. So they are right here. And then like that in line with there as well. Right. And then the. Oh, is there any more? Or have we done them all? No, I think, actually, I think we've done them all for that side so yeah perfect so it's gonna it's hard to really say what to do next because it's literally copying this side on the other side so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play some music and have some sort of time lapse of us basically completely rebuilding that rebuilding this onto this side it it should be nice and easy because it's basically exactly 
the same thing, just on both sides. Yeah, li or literally just rewatch the video and flip it. So yeah, uh, let's get to work. Okay, so as you can see, we have completely, as you, like you can see how that is completely symmetric, like symmetrical. We have basically took that side, flipped it round, and pasted it onto the other side. Everything should line up. So if you have a look at this tree, if you follow it along, it goes all the way down to this tree. If you look at this lantern and this tree, it goes all the way down to this one everything oh, oh yeah there you go everything is in the correct spot now there is one thing that we need to do to technically finish off this side which is the big wall around it but we will be doing that last so the first thing we, the first thing we are going to do is move on to this side now this side is going to be even shorter or even shorter of um, the time that we have to well i say shorter it's Basically, what you need to do is take this side, flip it around again, and chuck it over this side. So, just to give you a quick example, this path goes 1, 2, 3. Well, no, remember, it's 22. So, this pa that path goes 22 blocks. So, this side, this path, um, once this has all been uh, built up, this path goes 22 blocks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, yeah, that is the one thing I was about to tell you. So, this path, it actually stops at fourteen, and then the rest is grass. So, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So, this is all grass. And then the rest is mud over here. This is because, well, of the design, but also because the statue that they have made will also go there instead of this the path going into a big brick wall. So, we're going to have a statue at the end, and yeah, that's basically it. So... Basically, if you still um really really confused, watch the tutorial. Watch the tutorial that we have like. Well, watch. What am I saying? Watch. No, rewind the tutorial back to where we built this side, and completely copy it again. Or if you've got World Edit or uh, Lightmatica, save this as a schematic or something and paste it onto this side, like we did in the actual build. <laughs> So, nice and simple, <laughs> nice and simple, copy it either side, yeah, let's go.
Okay, so we have completed this side as you can see. These two sides have been completed. They are basically the same, but as you can see, there is that single difference that I've told you about, which is this side's path does not exist over there, and this side's does. Now, the reason this side's path does not exist is because we are actually building a really cool looking statue here. Now, I do, before I build this, I want to give a huge shout out to Ben again, because this statue, it went through many, many, many design processes, I must admit, and Ben's definitely was the best. He's even got the wings in there as well. So, I want to give a huge thanks to you, and yeah, let's, let's get building. So, you'll... What you will need is polished andesite um, stairs, polished andesite blocks. You may need polished andesite slabs. I don't know though. Actually, no, I don't think you do. So, but you do need andesite walls. There we go. And I think that's basically it. So, to start off, we are going to, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, one, two, three, four, five blocks um, between the path and the statue. And the statue base should look something like this. And then what you want to do is place your andesite walls. I believe it's, uh, yeah, three up. Um, it's going to be three up and then a block and then a wall. And then you want to do the stairs here with your block behind them. So these are going to be the feet, and then, oh but yes, you do need slabs actually. So then you are going to, there you go, yeah, grab your slabs like that, place your slabs on top of these blocks, well place blocks on top of the blocks and then slabs, and then also place your uh, block like that. Oh, fair enough then. Okay, right. So, what we are going to then do? Oh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, wait. It's gonna be. Oh, okay. No, it isn't. Right. So then we are going to do some more blocks going up. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to go up one, two, three, four, five like that. Then you want to place uh two stairs like that. Uh, hold up, Ben. Then you want to place blocks underneath those stairs, and then stairs underneath those blocks to make like a round shape, which is going to be the head. And then you want to place blocks either side of this block. <laughs> it looks like a weird thing. So yeah, just place blocks like that. There we go. And then, let's see, I'm going to... Okay, Ben, yeah, you start off slowly by doing the wings, because I've got no idea how they're made. Okay, so you want to just, just follow along this, basically. So you want to place your blocks like this. Do the exact same on the other side, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, make your arms come out, by the way, as well. So, okay, that's nice and simple. So two blocks either side like that. Put your arms out like this as well. And then you want to place your stairs like that. Okay. And then come out three extra blocks with a with an upside-down stair and a block there. Oh, wait, what? Oh, and then there's a block there with an upside down stair there and a stair there. So it should look something like this. Hold on, Ben. Let me quickly show them what it looks like so nobody gets confused. There you go. So that's what it should be looking like at the moment. And I'm guessing you can just copy the exact same onto the other side. So just in case you missed anything, this is how it looks. And that is how it looks on this side. Okay, and then I believe, is that it? Or, oh, and I've just quit the game. Okay, great. Hmm. Okay, a few more blocks. Uh, let's just join that. Yep, gone then. So just place them down. So you want to place your stairs and slabs like that. And I think that looks like it's completed. There you go. So, really cool. Oh, wait, never mind. Place two slabs above that. There you go. 
and now it's completed so yeah again as you can tell i'm not good with statues so i i wouldn't be able to build this so thanks to ben again amazing build that so yeah don't worry about the back there'll be a big building here anyway now we have basically no problem now we have basically uh oh dear now we've basically finished let's just close the minecraft part we have basically finished the entire build apart from the walls surrounding it now you yeah, the walls they're hmm they're something okay let's start off uh here let's see let's start off if you come to the one without the sign so right here the very first thing we built this little room and if we uh come out here and turn left to the one without the statue and then we turn behind us again so right here let's start off with this wall right here so we're actually first off let's do the roof of this um thing so we're gonna need dark oak uh, blocks and stairs and maybe slabs dark oak blocks stairs and just chuck some slabs in there just in case so what you want to do is place your block like this with your stair like that same on the other side and then i believe you want to bring your stairs all the way down until you reach your well the other side and that is also when you place your other block so as you can see another block there and then the exact same on this side i'm not good with stairs so there we go okay so once you've done that you should have that row completed and then i believe up next is it i think it's blocks right is it blocks yeah perfect so we're just going to do a row of blocks um diagonal uh one basically diagonal upwards towards these stairs so it should look something like this um again just place a brick pre pre uh, place some bricks i'm guessing i don't know oh wait actually no don't you won't be able to see in there okay so yeah place your place some dark oak planks instead of bricks and then on top of all of these stairs uh, on top of all of these blocks you want to place more dark oak stairs like this going all the way along to here Let's, yeah fix that as well right oh you missed one. Oh, we missed two there we go okay and then you can also curve your stairs like that so it should look something like this i think wait no isn't this brick yeah that should be brick bricks either start either side instead of the um blocks so bricks like that and then curve your stairs so it should look something like this on the corners and then um ben what is it i think it's blocks again diagonal perfect so yeah then diagonal uh, diagonal from those stairs that we've just made put some more brick uh, some more blocks sorry coming all the way along and then i believe there's even more stairs on top of that and then also what you want to do with these stairs is bring them out basically so bring them out behind these stairs and then put stairs on top of those blocks this roof is confusing but it is quite um a nice roof i think it's a roof that it looks good some people do it some people miss out on it but it looks really cool with the combination of stairs and blocks so yeah if, whenever you're building um something in like a survival definitely would recommend this roof it is actually quite a nice roof 
Okay, there we go. And then, somehow, we just need to cap it off, right? Is it even more? Or just, just, just show me. Okay, so another diagonal. Fair enough, yep. Yeah, let's do the same on the opposite sides. Oh, and then I'm guessing that's where it's just uh, blocks. So yeah, just bring this across. I hear Ben. Okay, no, he's going that side. So the, yeah, then put stairs on top of that, actually. Oh, yeah, and that's when you put the blocks, I see. So as you can see, this roof is for the main canopy or the main walkway or whatever it is. And then once you've done once we've done this roof, we're gonna move on to the surrounding walls. But yeah, and then I'm guessing we just cap it off of slabs. Yep. Yeah, let's also quickly fix up this. There we go. Right, there we go. And then, as you can see, just cap it off with slabs like this. And boom, that is your main roof completed. I don't believe there is any lights on the roof, so we should be good to go. Unless, if you're building this in survival, you should probably light up the inside, because it could get quite dark. Right, and then what we're going to do is now let's move on to yeah it's basically the same design as the main walls but it's just on the side but if you come to this side with no door uh, i mean but yeah it's, it's got a door um with no sign over hold on am i just no okay good um over here we're going to work on this wall so it's nice and simple all you want to do is grab out your roofing patterns again your brick and you want to grab out some brick stairs, I believe. And also some yellow... Or not yellow, they're not called yellow. It's pearlescent? I don't know. It's, it's some sort of frog light. Oh, or, yeah, that. Whatever, however you say it. Orc, or... Orky, or Kira. I don't know. I don't care. It's a cool block. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that. Right. What you're going to do also is grab your stripped, um, strip planks and make strip spruce uh, logs, actually. Or strip spruce wood, same thing. And just build a texture going up along the walls like this. And you can just bring them down to here because we are going to change some of them. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, so just bring them down to there. Some of them are going to be changed. Um, just grab out some stripped dark oak wood as well. Um, yeah, I'll show you in a bit. Don't worry about that dirt. That's just where we're going to build the, um, the wall. Oh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, don't worry about this at the moment. This is where we're going to build the next wall. But for this side, what we're going to do is if I actually find my way around. Yep, yeah, right here. Wait, what? Did I just... Oh, hi. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do, let's see. So, it starts off by coming out. And it's right after the tree. Okay, I see. Hey. So, just bring this wall out. And then bring it to in line with this tree, I believe. And just bring it... Uh, so, just build a brick wall like this. To in line, in line with this tree, basically. And then... Don't worry about the roof. We'll do the roof in a bit. Then we're going to place a row of brick like that. Then we're going to place three um, double uh, frog lights behind it. 
So it should look something like that. Oh, four, sorry. Yeah, because then we're going to place stairs like that. And then we're going to place another one like that. So that is going to be your window. So. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I literally just crashed. Anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? So yes, the next window is, if I can get up uh, bedrock. So the next window is one block away. So literally just a one block gap, I believe. So it should look something like that. Then the next window, yep, if you come out from this tree, I'll do it. It is, let's see, one, two, three, four, four blocks away, okay. I think, I hope. Wait, no, it's the one, it's the block after the tree, so yeah, four blocks away. So it starts right here. And then there's another uh, block gap, I believe. And then there is another, another tree, oh, oops. No, another set. What am I saying? Okay, then there's another window. Okay, now that all of the all of those issues are gone, we can carry on with this. So place down your stairs like this. There we go. And then on this side, I believe it should come through the tree like that. Where's the next? Oh, the next one is right on the tree. So like this. That's where the next one is. Then the window after that, I believe it's here. And then this should probably just go all the way to the end like that. And there you go. So that is the first wall basically completed. Now we're gonna curve around this way. So I believe isn't there some sort some sort of a pattern with dark oak? Oh right, yeah. Okay, so what you need to do is, I uh, can't actually get there, but what you want to do is just f place your, place two dark oak right there, then completely pile up with your strip spruce wood, then place two dark oak slabs on top like that. And that is what it should look like. So those, that's what the pillars should look like. I believe there is some more of those. There you go. So, the next thing that we're going to do is, there you go. So, yeah, six, group, uh, stri six stripped spruce and dark oak slabs on top with your dark, um, dark oak strip log at the bottom. Right, so then the next thing is, let's see... Okay, so yeah, leave a one block gap. So you want to do this. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, uh, just do that. Right. I'll come back to that in a minute then. First thing that you want to do is do that. Then leave another gap. Then do that. So that, those are the next two windows, as you can see. Let's fill them up. Sweet. And then the next one is the pillar. So if you leave a gap, there is two more dark oak and then a bunch of stripped oak. And there's no spruce slabs on top of this one though, because this is going to be where the stairs are. Yeah. So this is the, if you've been playing close attention, this is where the stairs are that wrap around uh, like this for the roof. As you can see. Like that, there you go. Okay, and then the next ones are, yep, like that, and I believe they should just be like that. So, these are the next two windows. There we go. And then, I believe there is, what is that? Is it just a single block? Yeah, it is. So yeah, just a single block going all the way up to the top, sticking out, like that. And then, if you just place your uh, stair like that, we will worry about this in a bit. Um, yeah, 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 of course. Same height. 
we'll worry about this sticking out a bit in a minute. Uh, first, we can quickly finish the roof. So, again, just bring your roof. You've already started turning it, as you can see. So all you need to do is bring this roof out all the way back down here. And come to this very end block right there. And any other turns that we need to make will well, will eventually be made. So there we go. Just turn this. Then there's some more stairs on top of this layer. Yeah, just break that away just so nobody gets confused. Okay, there we go. So yeah, and then is that slab? Perfect. So the roof isn't too hard because we're not doing it like double sided anymore. We're just doing a single like, it's kind of like a 2D image but 3D in Minecraft. So yeah, so that is the roof. Uh, that's the roof done. Don't worry about inside unless you're actually making an inside of it. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, if you are making like a full doors map, and like this is your um, like this is your well, this is your room. Then it goes into the courtyard. What you can do is make a room that kind of like turns up a little, like it turns a little bit, and then make these the windows so you can see out. If you want, that's obviously up to you. Or you could just keep them as it is. Now, what we're going to do is uh, copy this exact thing, I think. Is it literally just the, this exact thing, Ben? Literally just copy this onto the other side. Yep, perfect. So, literally copy that onto the other side. Uh, I'll fast... I'll, uh, Fast forward it, I'll time lapse it until we have done that. Okay, so now as you can see, we have completed the other walls. Um, yeah, this is a this is gonna be the four walls. We've just got to now complete this little sticky out bit of brick. I don't know what it was. So on this dirt layer, if you don't have the dirt layer, it's like one diagonal out or one out towards the, the grass. Basically, you you see what I mean. So right next to this. Uh, or next to this pillar, place strips, stripped spruce wood going all the way around, just like this. Hold up, that is, never mind. Okay. And there you go, that is all you need to do. And then, what you want to do is bring up some brick all the way to the top. So, it should look something like this. So, up to this slab. So if you just bring up this brick, just to in line with this slab, like that, there we go, okay, and perfect. So what we're going to do then is, basically this front bit, which I'm building now, 
yeah, as you can see, this front bit goes up in a diagonal. So, I'll show you how it goes. So, to start off with, on the corners, it's the same height as the slabs, basically. And then, it needs to come up one. So, the next... So, so if you go across one, it comes up one. If you go across one, it comes up two. Go across one, it comes up two. Go across one, it comes up one. And is that the total height, Ben? Oh, no. Oh, it goes up two there, sorry. So... Basically, I'm just going to show you. That's what the point should look like, basically. I think. Yeah, because the thingy goes. So, yeah, if Ben, if you just build it so they can see. There you go. So, oh, and I've quit. Okay. Oh, dear. Anyway, um... So this is what the this is what the uh, wall should look like, as you can see. <laughs> Rage, yes. And then all you're going to do is bring this, uh, bring these, bring this stair all the way back. Um, but you don't want to make it connect with this, basically. I'll show you what you what I mean. You want to bring this back so it doesn't connect. So like this. Wait, hold up. How, what am I... How? Oh, right. I see, I see. So, basically, this bit has to connect. There's no way it can't, basically. So, you just bring this back. And then this bit has to connect like that. But then this bit, where the spruce slab is, that just goes straight into this wall. And the roof goes out a little bit more. You don't need to go out for however many blocks, like, specifically. But, um, just go out a few, so when you're from down here, it, oh, well, when you're from, like, around here, it looks like it goes on, uh, past this roof. And then just do that with the roof. I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but you've got visuals, so have a look at that. This is what it should basically look like, but, um... Yeah, that once you've done this, you're basically finished with the build, apart from that side. But you could probably have seen this coming. What we are doing is completely copying this side onto that side. Hooray! So, I'm just going to... I'm not even going to do a time lapse. I'm just going to cut this bit and come back once this entire side is built. Okay, so as you can see, we've done this side and we've completed this side as well. It is literally the exact same thing as you can see. Literally one to one, exact same thing. Eventually, if you want to make it more accurate, as you can see, it's basically like a big square. So you can connect these corners and just smoothen it all out and make it a big square like we did. But um, I do want to say, well done. You have completed this tutorial. I didn't, I can't believe I've actually managed to get through it. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching um, from the Pumpkin Brothers. We are so excited to get this tutorial out. And then also credit to Ben for helping me out with a bunch of this stuff, like the statue behind us, a glamorous statue. And then also the trees and just helping out with the map, really. And um, yeah, also happy Halloween if I don't see you before then. And also, uh, I was trying to think what else. Yeah, more tutorials will be coming soon. I will definitely be trying to do uh, seek the seek chase. Uh, well, as much as I can of it. And also, <laughs> and also, I'll also try to be doing the door 50 library. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm just going to clear my inventory. Uh, thank Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for building and... Uh, shout out to Ben as well if he. Hold up, wait. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for building. And also, if Ben does have a. Uh, like a time lapse of it out, do you think you'll have that out? Yep, okay. So, yeah, I'll definitely leave a link to that down below. I'll also be trying to put some, like, time chapters up on screen or in the description or somewhere where you know, like, what individual pieces we are building. So could be the room the hall the rooms the hallways tree statue 
main courtyard, you know. Just so you don't have to keep flicking through the tutorial. But yeah, thanks for watching. From me and Ben, we will see you guys later. And I hope that you will um, get me to 1,000, please. That would be really, really epic. So yeah. <laughs> see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.